renewable ways. Today we are going to talk about new production, a whole meat principle, a whole meat method, an open field method. In fact, a free range system. It's a simple method that is developed over the years. Therefore, it is very cheap, efficient, and doesn't need too much capital to start. Snail production has been a very lucrative business over the years. In Ghana, we need about $100 to start this whole process as a startup capital for producing snail just at our backyard. To start with this method, we don't need any material but locally available material. For example, we are going to use an insect proof net. In fact, that is the basic thing that we do to use. We are also going to use a stick. These few sticks. These are what we are going to use. Now, looking at the distance, we have three and a half meter by two meter structure. A very simple structure. That is where we are going to keep our snails. Now, let's see. With this method, we've already grown some vegetables and then some crops to serve as a source of food as well as to provide shade for our snails in here. The snails are going to move freely in their own naturally created environment. Now, when you look at the nature of the soil, the soil is full of loam. That is a sandy loam soil with high organic matter content. So, Now we have our insect proof structure in here. That is where our snows are going to continue to grow. So they lay their eggs and they are going to spend their lifetime in here. They are being confined. These animals can move freely. And then these animals can move freely. And then also feed in the same environment. Now, once we are done, we are going to pour water on them okay. yeah. Yeah, but the environment we need to add water to the snail so that they feel comfortable in their environment we need to add water so they feel comfortable in their environment this is their natural habitat. In creating the environment, you need to add more water and then as they are feeding, they also feed comfortably over them. This very structure provides or will serve as the main source of habitat which is artificially created 
but in a natural phenomenon. Now, we have a tunnel here. That is a tunnel through which we are going to feed our snails. Snails generally feed on these vegetable leaves. We have the cocoyam leaves in here and then leftovers from the kitchen. So in a simple term, that is our artificially created natural environment which will cater for our snails. It's a night time feeding the snail. This is how they look like in the night. This is how the snails look like. And you can see extreme down here. The snails are mating. They are mating. The snails are mating. And it's really amazing. This is how they mate. Snails are generally they generally have both the male and the female. So some are classified as hermaphrodite, but others are not hermaphrodite and they mate normally like any other animal. So this is how the male and the female are mating. This is how it is. So within the night, it's about 8 o'clock p.m. And all the snails are active within their pen. Generally, they are classified as nocturnal animals. That is, they are very active in the night. So let's see what happens as they are mating. We've mated for some time now, and we want to see the end result, how it goes. So, this is one. This is the male, this is the female, and these are the mating. Yeah, I'm afraid. They both have the male and the female part. And they are mating. This is a typical natural environment of which I have created for the snails. They feel like they are just in the wild. They feel like they are within they are natural home. This is super amazing. Pen. As you can see, it's night time and all the snails are active. Because we know that they are nocturnal beings. Hence, they are all active by this time and this is a natural home of which we have created for them 
in here we have coco yam so all the snails are actively awake because they are classified as nocturnal animals that is they are generally active in the night so let's go back to where they are seriously meeting Snows are nocturnal and they are also hermaphrodite. You have both the male and the female parts. And you see the long thing there. That is the penis. <laughs> and they are mating. So this is how the male team is happening. They are mating. We have the two long thing here. Yeah, seems they are mating, and it's been about 10 minutes now, and they are still mating. So let's see, I could see they are pulling their penises out. They are pulling their penises out gradually. So let's see what happens in some few minutes. This is how mating occurs in snails. We have two snails and they are mating. <laughs> this is super amazing. Just mating like humans. That is how the meeting is happening. <laughs> the video you see here. It's all about how snails meet, how snails meet in order to multiply in number, in order to reproduce. It's super amazing. And as you can see, 
they are mating two different females are mating see the male and the female parts just inside there and they are trying to pull it out so let's see it's been about 15 minutes now and the mating process is still ongoing let's see what happens they are pulling so let's see what happens they're stroking like human having sex like a male and female human having sex they are just stroking that whitish thing in there so let's see what happens it's super amazing it shows that nature is so wonderful nature is so wonderful Through a thorough research, we've been able to tell the whole world how mating occurs in snails. Log on to our site and watch more super amazing videos. As I said earlier, it's night time. The snails are crowded here in their natural home. We created all these environments for them with all the necessary materials see they are feeding and moving around freely you can see the not their natural home artificially created natural home for the snails during the daytime you may not see any snail moving but in the night you see them in here all of them crowded and as you can see they are all active so let's get back to how they are mating so this is how it happens let's see So, I think they are pulling, they are pulling out. So let's see what happens. They are pulling out, the snails are pulling out. As they are stroking, like human beings having sex, it's been 11 minutes now, and they are still mating. They are still mating in here. It's super amazing. So wonderful. Let's see the end results. The video in here is all about how snails mate or how mating occur in snails. That is how the sexual intercourse in snails is a simple non-traditional farming. As I told you earlier, we have a lot of them here. This is the West African type, the forest type. I mean the tropical snail. The Akatina Akatina. This is a typical West African type, the tropical snail that we have in our forest. And they are the Akatina type, the Akatina Akatina. Really performing here. You created a natural atmosphere for the non-traditional animals and they are moving around it's super amazing you don't get it anywhere tune into our site and watch more super amazing videos concerning non-traditional animals they are moving we have about two thousand of them in here you can see a stream in it there they are crowded moving around So the meeting process 
is still ongoing. It's been 13 minutes now, and the snails are still mating. Let's see the end results, how it happens. They are pulling. It's been quite some time now, and they are still mating. Think they are pulling out. How meeting okay? In snail. See, they are pulling out. You see the slimy thing in here, they are mating and that is how mating occurs in snails. Log on to our site and watch more videos. Snails are mating and back to the uh, pen. It's a natural home created for them to live in, they feel comfortable to move along. That's how they are. Yeah, so this is how the meeting is ongoing. And see what is happening in here now. So soon, the mating process is done, and each is just lying down quietly. So, in all, this is how mating occur in snails. This is how sexual intercourse occur in snails. Log on to our site and watch more super amazing videos. Hi, so these are the eggs of the snails. I'm going to incubate them using a natural or let's say artificial phenomena. So simply put, these are the eggs of the snail. These are the eggs of the snail. They are all going to hatch and I'm incubating them Just like they are in their natural home. So, so that's how it is. Simple as that. Simple as that.
So, I have all these nails incubated in here. 